What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video, it's tips of the week, and we need to talk about uh, your profit. It's very important right here. So when you build an estimate, let's clear this estimate right here. There's a number in that corner, and that number, you gotta keep an eye on it. And it's, if you if when you create like jobs, add alternator, you need to make sure on average, not on every invoice, on average, that number is between 60% to 70%. If, you, if your average monthly uh, profit less than 60%, you're barely making money. You, you're basically making money like an employee. So your average, obviously, if you're selling tires, this, gonna be, this number is going to be 20%. Let me just give you an example right here. Let's just clear this. Uh, clear parts and labor. Let's get some... Uh, tires 60 16 and I get it so when it comes to tires you see your average right now is 39% okay that's fine I mean the the the, the, the percentage is 39% I get it on tires you cannot make much money on certain job you cannot make much money but your average and let me talk let me tell you what I'm talking about when you go to your reports right here go to your daily report and switch to monthly report and let's go to March uh, obviously this is pro profit you see what I'm talking it's right there for 70 percent if this is less than 60 percent if, if your profit is less than 60 percent you're not making much money you need to make the adjustment and the adjustment is every time you're creating an estimate your job basically primarily is to make sure this is 60% and above. If you can't, then I understand. But when you can, you must do it. So that's that's that makes a huge difference. Let me let, let's go back in the daily report again right here and switch it to monthly. Let's say two shops. Let's say let's say I only sold fifteen thousand. I mean this is a fantastic job, but let's say I only sold fifteen thousand. One shop sold fifteen thousand eight hundred, and the other shop sold fifteen thousand and eight hundred. And if your percentage seventy percent, you're making good money, and the other one, you're literally losing money. Any that one percent is a huge difference, especially when you're selling forty thousand or fifty thousand or even thirty thousand, even in the twenties, it makes a huge difference. Once this number goes over twenty, the percentage makes a huge difference. So your job is to make it between sixty to seventy. When I ran the shop for seven years, I wasn't selling that much, but I was making more money more than my neighbors. Why? Because I made sure my profit is 70%. So this number on the corner right here that you see, that wasn't, in, that wasn't done by mistake because I know I don't have time to sit and click on profitability to check how much I'm making money. I need to look on the corner right there how much I'm making money. So when I add this, Especially big estimate, big estimate. You you got to be when you're making a big estimate. If you're fifty-seven percent, you're not there yet. You need to make an adjustment. Uh, it, it, mostly on the labor. It's either on the parts on the labor uh, to make this go up or it needs to go up. And I'm not saying uh, cheat the customer. It's not that. It's it's okay. This is the business. The way you need to think about it. If I'm not making. 70% average, 68 to 70% average at the end of the month, then might as well shut it down and let me just get a job like everyone else. Let's go back right here. I'm being honest with you. That I, I've said that, I said that to myself a long time ago. And I said, if I'm not making my profit right there, if not set, that's before paying, uh, people say, well, that's a lot. Not really, because that's before paying employees. That's before paying the, 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 the bills. I'm talking about 70% of the invoice only. That's it, of the invoice. Now let's talk about the monthly expenses. Balance sheet, monthly expenses. You need to click on monthly expenses. You need to fill this up. You need to fill this up right here. Rent, credit card, all that. And now, after you auto-populate this, after you fill, so make sure this is that like the recurring payments for for your, uh, how much you're making money. So what you do is you just click on the monthly expenses, 
expenses and add every single expense that you have from rent, credit card, DTE, water bill and all that. Once you do that, um, just just let's go back to March. Let's say I want to do March. Let's say I only sold 15,000 in March. I click on auto populate. And then what you can do if you want to make it accurately, just go print your statement, your bank statement and go through this stuff. And if, if let's say, uh, let's say uh, the, 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 the electric bill was 225 this month, I do it 225. I can even say what date I paid it. It was on the 14th update. And if I added something else, let's say I bought something else, I can add it. Your job to see your real, this is your real net profit. Payroll, you gotta add payroll right here. How much it costs in your payroll? Let's say to 5,000, you pay in check, add. See, now your net profit, man, after you pay everybody, literally, I always said it, man, we were. <laughs> All middle class people work for the government. We work for the government because after you pay your taxes and you pay somebody to pay your taxes, that's the hilarious part that always cracks me up when I want to pay my taxes, I cannot pay it because I got to pay somebody to pay the taxes. Amazing. That, what a nice way to create jobs, but uh, the average person is hurting from all these uh, loopholes. And uh, so yes, you need to focus on your net profit, man. You could be making 2,000 out of 15,000 sale. It's good to know your numbers. It's very important to know your numbers. Um, what else I wanna talk about? Yes, another thing I wanna talk about, somebody told me about it. Um, uh, when, you, when we add a quote right now, let me see, let's, let's create a new estimate right here. And just click on that create a new estimate and so when you create a new estimate and there's a quote for that estimate VIP will pop will basically bring that quote to you too you can try to sell it so you see uh, it brought me directly to the quote so I it's I can try to sell it or I can go back to the empty estimate but if I want to go back just click a view quote and try to sell the alternator once I sell it I just click on transfer all and bring it back to here so that's that, that was a cool option um, what else I want to talk about? Uh, I try to make these videos short, the tips of the week, so you guys don't spend too much money, too much time on that. Um, that's it. If you're uh, paying $400 a month uh, on Techmetric or any of these uh, cloud-based, uh, not cloud-based, any we are cloud, but any of these uh, web application, you're paying $400 on ShopMonkey or $350, uh, come join us, man. Uh, it, it does it not just it does the job that it uh, does for them it's even more and whoever tells me that he uses his uh, his uh, his uh, shop monkey on his phone let me know how that working for you after six months anyway I appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching